Hi, this is Shay, your independent Herbalife distributor. I've been on Herbalife now for about five weeks, and in that time, I've lost several inches from my waistline, my hips, thighs, legs, pretty much all over. Feeling really, really great, loving these products, and I'm going to continue to bring you updates and bring you more how-to videos. Last week, we went over how to make Jello lift off shots, and today, I'll be doing a how-to video on making a nutritious light dinner or snack plus protein using your Herbalife products. So I Okay, let's get started. I am a lover of all things simple. If it takes longer than 15 minutes, I am not doing it. So today we're going to do something really, really simple, really fast. Um, we're going to make uh, veggie burgers. I'm going to use, I'm not a vegetarian, but I wanted to try this Morning Star uh, Mushroom Lovers Burger. It is vegetarian, but it's mm -mm -mm yummy. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, this. I know you will once you make it. So you're going to grab a Mushroom Lovers uh, Veggie Patty. Uh, it's already kind of pre-seasoned, but we will be using seasonings. Um, you're going to also need to use uh, a pita bread. I'm using a small pita bread. I'm going to use a white pita bread. Feel free to substitute that with wheat pita bread. Wheat is going to be better for you overall, but I have a wheat allergy, so I'm going to stay away from the wheat today and just use white. But again, feel free to substitute it for your wheat um, pita bread. You're also going to need um, tomatoes. I'm using Sinfully Sweet Tomatoes. They're locally grown. I'm going to use an avocado. I'm going to use about half of that avocado, actually. Um, you're going to want to use the seasonings of your choice. I'm going to do some black pepper, a little basil. And then I'm going to grab my actual Herbalife products. Today we're going to use the Herbal Aloe Concentrate in mango and the beverage mix in uh, peach mango. This combination makes uh, a, you know, a really, really nice uh, drink. And we're going to use our shaker cup in the back, which is going to mix up our products really nice and neat and evenly for us. So those are the ingredients that you're going to need to make this healthy meal. Um, again, this is going to be used as a nutritional uh, snack or a really really light dinner um, I really hope you guys enjoy this how-to video and um, let me know if you have any questions in your description below okay thank you so much okay according to the directions for the morning star uh, mushroom patties it's to be warmed up in the microwave on a 50% power level for about a minute so I'm gonna go ahead and put the patty in the microwave on a platter set my microwave for a power of 50% of the normal amount which is, of course is 100% so I'm gonna change my power level uh, to 50% and then set my cook time at one minute no more than one minute While my patty is in the microwave cooking, I'm going to go ahead and put my skillet on uh, on a lower power and go ahead and start putting my olive oil in my skillet. I'm only going to use a, a little drop of olive oil, probably about uh, what's considered uh, a, a, a teaspoon or a little bit less than a teaspoon going to go ahead and make sure it's uh, evenly distributed in my pan you don't want to put olive oil in the pan too soon you want to put it in right before you're ready to put your product or your I mean your food inside your pan because you don't want it to burn olive oil will burn um, fairly quickly so you know once you put it in your pan distribute it in your, to your pan the heat's going to make it uh, distribute a little bit more evenly and then you'll be ready to put your product in pretty much right away this is me throwing a garlic clove in um, I don't know what I was doing I should have chopped this up before I wanted to use fresh garlic but didn't feel like chopping so end up putting one garlic clove in trying to mix it with my fork that wasn't working so I decided to use uh, some garlic I got from the refrigerator I went ahead and added my patty my veggie patty to the garlic and olive oil mixture and I'm just going to go ahead and keep it in there. Uh, the time frame is about four to five minutes on each side. I, I really, really love my garlic. So I'm making sure the garlic is in the patty really, really, um, you know, really nice into that patty. I'm going to go ahead and add some black pepper 
which you see me doing now. It's going to be real simple, real simple seasonings, uh, black pepper on both sides of the patty. And I'm also going to add a little bit of basil. I love putting basil on everything too, but just add whatever you pretty much feel like adding to it. The black pepper and the basil kept it really simple. And then I'm just going to just go back and forth, making sure the patty evenly browns and that my garlic is, you know, on the patty on both sides um, evenly. So I'm going to do that for that full four minutes on each side. Uh, the temperature should be a pretty low, medium to low temperature. Make sure that you're turning your your veggie patty um, over every few minutes. You want to go ahead and promote, make sure it evenly browns on each side. So there. Okay, it looks pretty, pretty good, pretty yummy, and evenly browned. Okay. Once my patty is nice and brown on both sides, I'm going to go ahead and turn off that heat and just remove uh, the patty from the heat, uh, just place it on the other side of the stove and remove it off out of the pan and replace that with my pita bread. The pita bread is now going to have all this nice olive oil and garlic from uh, the previous cookings for a few minutes on each side. Put it on low heat and that's it. Just warm it up. While my bread is warming in the pan, I'm actually going to go ahead and start chopping up my vegetables. So I'm going to grab, I'm just going to do one of the small sweet tomatoes. You don't need very much, can't fit very much in that pita actually. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, chop up one of the small tomatoes, chop it up in, in, in you know, fairly small pieces. Again, you can only fit so much into that pita. So I'm going to go ahead and start chopping um, which you can see me doing right now. Once that's done, it's going to look a little something like this. Yours will probably be a little neater than mine, but again, I don't like spending a lot of time. Um, now I'm going to take my avocado. This is what I call my avocado chopping fail. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of skim through this really, really fast. Um, I do not know how to chop up an avocado correctly. My avocado was cold. It probably should have been room temperature. So, yeah, it looks really, really bad right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> so chop up your avocado. There's a couple of YouTube videos, actually, uh, that tell you how to chop up the avocado that I found after I've did this really bad butchering job to my avocado so again um, chop up your avocado from that whole avocado I use a little bit less than half so I didn't have to use the entire half of the avocado again I think I just got tired of just uh, pretty much chopping <laughs> so this is me just putting pieces in with my uh, tomato my tomato mixture so again um, I'm chopping up my avocado the best I can. I again I found that YouTube video on how to chop a avocado after I've done this really really terrible butchering job. Please do not laugh too hard at me. I have a really really crazy dull knife, <laughs> so none of this is really working for me um, with this avocado. I'm going to go ahead and add the lettuce now. I just used about one leaf. Um, washed my hands, of course, in between, and this is what it ends up looking like. You have a couple pieces of avocado. Again, this is less than half a, a small tomato, your lettuce. Here again is my Village Farm Simply Sweet Tomato, which I get locally here in Texas. Okay, now my pita bread is nice and warm, um, and it's uh, warm on you know both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and, and just uh, fold it in half. It will you know break, so it did break when I folded it in half because it was on the fire for probably a little bit longer than it should have been. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and again I folded my pita bread in half and grab my patty. 
and I place the patty on the pita bread. And I'm going to go ahead and break the patty in two, actually, two pieces, just so it would fit on that half half the side, you know, the half that I, I folded it, so you want it to be on one side, so you'll better fold on top of it. I broke the patty in half, so they'll be neat on um, evenly distributed inside of my patty. I'm going to go ahead and add the lettuce. Uh, the lettuce probably should have went on before, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure the lettuce is the foundation of my pita and put the lettuce on first and then the patties on top. And now I can um, go ahead and add the rest of my goodies like my avocado slices. I end up using a little bit, probably a little bit less avocado than I actually sliced up because, again, you can only fit so much into the pita. On top of that, I'm going to add, um, sprinkle my, my black pepper on top of both uh, the avocado and the patty. This is just going to give it a little bit extra flavor. It's not a lot. You know, we already have the garlic um, and the basil in our patty. So just a little bit of extra uh, black pepper. If you have a little lemon, you can actually add a squirt of lemon, uh, which is great with avocado as well. I'm going to go ahead and add my sinfully sweet tomatoes. Um, on top of the avocado and actually when I end up finishing I left a little bit on the plate so you see a little bit of avocado a little bit of lettuce a little bit of tomatoes still left on the plate because all of it could not fit um, into my patty so I had that left over so I'm just going to save that for a little later on today so that's what it looks like Okay, one major last step that I did not get a chance to show because it cut out of my video was to add salsa. Go to your local produce section and get that fresh salsa. So to stick to the fresh salsa. Um, I, this is my favorite. It's called Anna's Salsa, and it's locally made here, right here, I believe at HEB, um, here in Houston, Texas. But it's my favorite salsa. Add a little bit of salsa. A little bit of salsa goes a really, really long way. So again, you just know a little bit. Uh, this is how the pita looks like when it's folded, when it's open. Yummy. Really, really nice and colorful. Herbalife really focuses on colorful meals. So that's my colorful meal. Um, this is going to complete my meal. We're going to go ahead and add your drink. So this is, gonna, this is super, super easy. We're not even going to use a blender for this. I'm going to take out my beverage mix. Again, this is the peach mango flavor. This has 15 grams of protein just with the mix alone. So you're going to need two uh, two scoops. Sometimes a little hard to get out of the canister. Um, but you want to add two full scoops into your um, your glass or cup. I'm going to use um, a, a, a mixer cup so that I can easily shake and mix uh, the ingredients. This is very easy. It's not uh, It's not thick or lumpy. It's very, very easy. It's kind of like you're adding those little instant drink mixes to your bottled water. That's what it, That's what the consistency is like. So I'm going to go ahead and add my two scoops. I've actually already made up one. Um, I'm going to add bottled water. You can use bottled or filtered water, but once it's added, you know, I would add it up. We're going to do about, about eight ounces I'm sorry not eight yeah, yeah this is about maybe about a little bit more than eight probably about ten ounces of water that I end up adding to it I also added my herbal aloe concentrate um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that now because this is the drink mix already already in the container and I'm gonna go ahead and open it and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I added the herbal uh, the the aloe concentrate to it. The you can add up to three capsules of this herbal concentrate. I'm actually going to add a little bit less than half of a cap. This is going to be a personal preference. Everyone's going to you know feel differently about this. Um, the aloe concentrate kind of works with my body a little bit differently. And if I add too much, I do get tend to get a slight headache. So I'm just going to add, I'm gonna, not even going to add half of the concentrate. I'm just going to add a, a, a half a capful. You can add a capful. You can add up to three full capfuls of your herbal aloe concentrate to your drink mix. Once that's added, I'm going to go ahead and shake up my 
my mixture. It's really, really easy to just shake up in the cup. Just make sure that the lid is on really nice and tight. I'm going to shake up my mixture. And then I'm ready to add it with my meal. So now you have a, a, a vegetarian veggie burger plus your, your Herbalife uh, protein drink. And it makes for the perfect meal. Okay. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed this. One last thing, if you're wondering about the calorie content, this uh, particular meal was 375, about 375 calories, but had 30 grams of great protein in it, and also 48 carbs and 10 grams of fat. So not bad. Mm -hmm.